uh, well, we're at Lindgren Riding Academy, which is on Casorso and Gordon Road in Kelowna. And we're here because this uh, facility and the ones neighboring it, the Riding Club and the Mission Creek Ranch, have been pretty instrumental in helping the rescue um, evacuate horses from the fire areas, all three fire areas where we've been evacuating animals out of. Uh, and we have some that are still here because they're on evacuation. Um, it actually, you know, I hate to use the puns, but they, they come in handy at this point. Um, it, it, it's called uh, Baptism by Fire. And uh, basically, on my organization that I represent has been working for the last about two months pretty steady with the SPCA, um, mainly out of Kamloops area, adopting horses. Um, and so when the fire started, it was just kind of a natural that I would phone Kathy and harass her and say, how can we help? and um, jump in both feet. And so basically what we did is we set up a staging grounds on the West Kelowna side and uh, started uh, lining up transporters and lining up homes. And uh, one of my other girls started getting donations in for hay because when people are evacuated with their animals, they're not allowed back into their farm so they can't get the hay out. So, uh, well, there's 10 here from Lake Okanagan Resort and then three from kind of the Bear Creek Traders Cove area up, up high on the mountain. So what's the uh, prognosis? What's going to happen now in the future with these horses? You know? um, basically, they're they're waiting to go back home. Um, but the way we like to see it go is that when the the property is on alert, they get the horses out, and they keep them out until the alerts are lifted. So don't plan on going home just because they're not on order anymore. We try to get them to stay out just because it's it's. Once they're out, it's easier to keep them out than it is to truck them back and forth. Uh, there's one horse out back, actually, that they went home on alert, and she's back again. So <laughs> luckily, she loads very nicely, so it was pretty easy to get her into a trailer. Have any animals been lost? Any horses? Not that I'm aware of, no. That's, that's good news. No. It, it came close on a couple farms. Uh, one farm, the first night of the fire, that we had to cut the horses loose and not try to uh, trailer them out. Um, so that was a little bit of a, a scary situation, but it was, came down to getting the horses out, which weren't going to load easy or endangering the transporters. So we had to make a call on that, and luckily it worked out really well. With this latest fire, how many horses did you need to evacuate, and how many larger animals did you need to evacuate approximately? The most recent count is uh, over 180. And that's just what we've assisted in. So, and a lot of people didn't need our help. Like they had people they knew with tra tra trucks and trailers and whatnot that came in and got them out on their own. Um, so that's just the ones that we're aware of. And I know there was probably easily at least that many more. Great. So yeah. how important is it to have a place like this that takes in the horses? This is awesome. Like it, it's amazing. And the, the best thing about this facility along with the riding club and next door and, and Mission Creek Farm is they're all so close together. Everyone in the valley knows where they are. So in the heat of the moment when we're dispatching truck and trailers out, it's really easy to say, you know, go to Lindgren's Riding Academy or go to the Kelowna Riding Club and the transporters automatically know where it is and the owners know where it is. So it made it just a real easy step. So in the middle of the night, they weren't driving around looking for a certain address, you know. Okay, with, with both fires, or all three fires, the SPCA has been removing companion animals and mostly doing uh, dispatches with the horse rescue, um, where we would just go in with them, with their haulers, and Kim would have everything arranged and everyone would know where to go. And that left us able to pull out the companion animals that were left behind. Well, basically what we're trying to do, um, working with the SPCA, we've also got the support of Horse Council as well as Minister of Agriculture. Um, so what we're trying to do is we're going to be having some meetings, um, hopefully taking it to a public forum pretty soon, to establish a plan that could be put together and put to use anywhere in the province. Um, I hate to say it, but it's not a matter of if this happens again, but when it's going to happen again. Um, and whether it's a fire or a flood or whatever kind of disaster, we'd like to come up with a plan to help evacuate livestock horses, cattle, um, we've been known to move the odd pig and sheep and chicken. Chickens, <laughs> turkeys. Yeah.